Oh my god. This is ridiculous. How do I even get down there? How do I get over to those chests? Maybe we have to kill another one. I don't know. This has gotten worse, not better. Maybe, maybe just killing that is side content stuff. Okay, Tales of Berseria is January 24th, 2017. Ugh. Yeah, that's my point. I'm gonna have to finish Final Fantasy 15 before that. Which pretty much means we're going to have a December of nothing but Final Fantasy 15. Oh god. Well, then again, I've been playing this game for, what, a month? Less than a month? When did it come out? Yeah. I don't actually I remember when World of Final Fantasy came out, come to think of it. Oh, that's a... that's a mess. But yeah, I'm going to be... I'm just going to be gunning for RPGs for a while. Oh, that's okay. I kind of have... I'm not going to say infinite free time, but I have a lot. Ice resistance. Zzz. Oh, wait, no, this is actually going to be really easy. Okay, correction, not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Luckily, I got some Seraphones to work work with. Hopefully, I don't have to do too many of these. Honestly, kind of forgot about this stuff. Yeah, Seraphones. Okay, why don't we put away the black knack for somebody a little bit more frosty, the snow. Oh, wait. That would solve the problem. Um, so let's transfig you up to a, a Meshiva. Let's transfig you over to a Fenrir. Or is the black knack... Okay, yeah. Bring you up to a Zaphir? Or is zapped? Do we know what his weight would be? Weight six. Weight four. It's better if we just go with that. Freet. I'm gonna... Uh, let's make Freet and Ifrita. Why? I don't know. Reasons. And that's good enough. Because now we have some mediums, now we have some smalls. This should work. Otherwise, we have to use yet another ser uh, Seraphone. Okay. So, Meshiva should be more than enough. Okay, using the Moogle works. The Moogle actually has a negative, but it still works. All we needed was the extra oomph. Or pudge, really. Okay, there we go. Does that... That's how we do it. I was wondering, it's like, how do we get down to those trio, that trio of chests? And there's our answer. Hey! I've always wanted to ride on my Fenrir. I think he's a bit faster, actually. But I could be wrong. Ugh, not you again. If he was actually worth, like, you know, 160,000 experience, I'd I'd be okay with it. But 16,000? They did not balance this. Okay, so now we go back. Yeah, I want to say Fenrir is faster than the Behemoth. It feels like it anyway. Catch it because you can. Actually, can't. I already have one. Therefore, not catchable. Time for I don't have the, uh... That's set up. Let's see, don't I have the female Rama memento? Uh, no, we don't. That's the only one I don't have. Actually, no, we don't have the, uh, the male Shiva one either. I know where to get it, but... Come on, hang in there, you the two. 
We're getting a little a bit closer to them every step that we... Ah. Huh? W what's the matter, Tama? N nothing Something just that gave me a start. That's all that it was. Yeah. So we, we know where to get it. It's just it requires level 70, which we're actually getting pretty close to, and I might even be able to do right now with the team comp that I have. But we can also wait, uh, be prudent a little bit, and not have to worry about anything. Uh, I'm not interested in these guys. If they gave experience, I'd fight them, but no. Please, the promise me, you'll be the careful. <laughs> Tama, what's wrong? Are you okay? Their threshold is just way too the strong. Like they're invalidating my the existence. They must really the hate me. I can't bear to see you in pain. Please, go back. Uh, but I can't go the back. The three of us are a team. And a crow told me to go look after you. Well, you'll be here in spirit. And that's what counts. We'll call you if we get into trouble. Please? For us, okay? Oh, all the right. But stay on the guard. You still have no idea who you're the dealing with. Hey, we can handle them. I mean, come on. We've held our own against almost everything we faced. Hmm. Right. And don't forget, he's got me. We'll be fine. <sighs> Alright, if you're the with him. What? I'm no good on my own? That goes without the saying. Dude, ouch! Okay. Well, if you're sure, I guess I'll head the back. See you soon! All the right? Yep. You know it. Bye. So... The final leg. Lon, you ready? Yeah. Let's thrash those heralds. So we can finally go home. Right. Wow. So apparently, according to chat, uh, you know what? I'm going to use another Seraphone. This might be, this might be a waste. I'm going to switch him back to an Elfenrir. So according to chat, if you had Tama in your party... You just straight up lost her. And could not... And you can't get her back for uh, the rest of the game. Up until you finish it. So you went from a level 72 Tama okay, to a 48 Flan. Wow, that's got to suck. Like, that, that, uh, that's hot garbage. I would hate that. I always hate that in, uh, I always hate that in games where they just take away a party member. It's like, they died, or, I mean, that happened to me with Aerith. Aerith? Aerith. I don't know. That pro I mean, that happened to everybody with her, but, um, who else did it happen with? Characters that get taken away at the very, very end of the game. You got this. What the I fuck? I guess we're doing this. What are these things? Yurugu. How do we catch one? Inflict Oblivion. Huh. Sh Shit, they might die before I can catch them. Okay. Removes the Oblivion. There we go. Let's see if we get lucky. They're really fast, too, which is really risky. Come on, catch, catch. Yes! Okay. That's weird. So we don't have to go anymore. That's really... Oh, yeah, it is the, the weird alternate Tama from the very beginning of the game. I totally forgot about them. So, Yurugu, a fox-like mirage, for whatever reason, uh, a fox-like mirage that, for whatever reason, attacks with foxfire. The celebrated artist Gildenbrandt once foolishly attempted to use a Yurugu as a paintbrush, 
But needless to say, he found the experience to be completely unpalatable. So... That's weird, leaving it with Seraphy. Yeah, I forgot I forgot that there was the uh, tutorial uh, mirage. Man, that, that's been a while. I want to play an RPG someday where you can New Game Plus, and it actually, like, changes the plot drastically. Being like, why are you so strong? Get out of here. What What is going guess, on? Come on. You just like walk into the endgame castle immediately and kick kick the villain's ass, and it's just like, huh. Like, I don't know. Just feels like that would be a really enjoyable game. Comparatively. Just as like, you know, you play it normally, and then the second round through, you're like, what is going on? That'd be fun. All right, looks like we're on the final approach. Doesn't look like we have a whole lot of alternate routes here. JRPG that came out not long ago that did that. Really, please tell me which, because that actually sounds like something I'd really enjoy playing. Yeah, I'd like, I would pay for like a decent amount of money to replay through a game a second time around with like a completely like changed plot. You don't even need to give me voice acting or anything like that. Just be like you know, Tom uh this game would start over. Tom would show up be like, "Hi." And we'd be like, "Hey, Tom." And she's like, "Ha!" And then the entire plot is just like we're running around with like super powered uh people knowing exactly what's going to happen. Fairy Fencer F. Really? Dude, it's on. Let's Okay, I gotta look this up while we kill this carbuncle. Fairy Fencer F, New Game Plus. Okay, let's let's speed this up a bit. Doesn't look like it changes too much. Also, should probably look into it. Oh well. I'll look it into it, look into it later. It doesn't look like the, there's actually a whole lot of like information on how the new game plus would actually work. If I ever make an RPG, I'm doing that where like you play through the game three times. That'd be awesome. Just as a like a weird, weird way of ending the game. It's just like it's not over yet. You play it through the second time around and you're like ridiculously badass. And by the third time, you, like, beat it in 20 minutes because I don't have any more budget or time. Hello. There's a door here. Yeah, I don't want just New Game Plus. I want, like, Plot New Game Plus. this continue, Helen? A hundred years and counting now, and yet commanding just one body proves a chore. How lovely and pathetic can you get? My body gives me more trouble than yours does. Oh, but I do wonder about that. Hey, scumbag! <laughs> We've been looking for you! <laughs> if you think you can just wreck the world and get away with it, then you have got another thing coming! <laughs> when are you uh, Alwyn, you okay? So you've made it this far. But no more. You have to stop. You mustn't fight. <laughs> I know you want to. But you simply can't. What drivel, what tripe, a farce beyond compare. Are you quite certain of that? 
What if they are the world's true champions awakened at last? Should we not deal with them now? And now it's you who's causing me to grin. The Crimson Prophecy's a done affair. The story needs no postscript, no twist, and no spin. Exit. Begone, you whelps! That's right! It's on! So, I have a theory that these are the parents. Let's fight them. I'm gonna have to Libra both of them, aren't I? Uh, why does he only have one foot? It's such a weird design. It's creepy. Okay, so he's weak to light. And let me guess. She also weak to light, or is she weak to dark? Because, honestly, I got both of those wrapped up in one character. Hey, she is. She's also weak to water. I guess. Okay, well. This is fine. So, apparently in Fairy Fencer F, at a halfway point in the game, a certain character dies, and you go through the story again, knowing the party members, and what's about to happen. Really? That'd be interesting. Okay, uh, I've got Holy. Holy. That really did not do nearly as much damage as I wanted it to. Well, never mind then. Let's just go back to hitting them. We'll just save up for healing. I'm not actually sure how hard these guys are going to be. The answer is, eh, hard enough. I don't know. God, that weird tappity foot is strange. Yeah, we're we're just going to murder the shit out of the uh, Knight the Golden Mask first. I hope this isn't one of those where, like, we beat the crap out of them and the characters are actually having trouble for some reason. I always hate that in games where it's just like, you beat them handily and the character just randomly is like, ah, they're too hard, and we're like, no, no they're not. Actually, come to think of it, now that we got it, got a thing, we got Shell, can use it. Let's do, ooh, Clash on Big Bridge. This is a two-star medal. Let's get this started. Cool. Ah! <laughs> what? Just uh, don't get in the way, all right? <laughs> To all the unready. Freezing dust! Ow. Okay, that one hurt. Alright. Forest Nocturne. At least we already wiped one of them out, which makes this a little bit easier. Well, let's go back up to full. That's some good stuff. Alright, and let's do Triumphant Shout. Yeah, these are totally the parents. That's why we mustn't fight them, and that's why they keep talking about this body. Because... They're body snatchers, I guess, for whatever reason. I like it how the mask with the Golden Knight is just, like, passed out on the ground below me. He's not dead. He didn't disappear. This is true. But he's... been beaten enough. So, close enough, right? That move hurts. Luckily, it doesn't hurt that bad. It just hurts an amount. I'm trying to think of other games. I don't know, um... I don't know how many of you guys have seen the, uh... Tom Cruise movie, uh, Edge of Tomorrow. Uh, but, like, I'd love to have a game that kind of Edge of Tomorrow's it, but it's not a short game, so you're not doing it over and over and over again. You're doing it like the... You're starting the whole game over, and the entire plot just, like, wildly changes, because the, char the character's like, 
I know when the villain's gonna come up, uh, show up. I know where the villain is. And then the plot is like different. And it turns out, oh, hey. Uh, shit changed hard. As postscripts go. Impressive. <laughs> They're people? Huh? Is that? No more frowning. Now, let's smile. You should turn those corners up, or your happiness will spill right out. You don't want that to happen. But everybody makes fun of me because they say my arm is creepy. But look, mine is the same. See? And there's more. Did you know that these arms are very special? They're proof of the joy you'll bring the world. But only one of my hands looks like yours. You have one, Lan has the other. So as long as you both work together, there's no happiness you can't attain. Please, you have to stop gathering so many mirages. Why's that? We're really good at it. You of all people should be proud. Yeah, it's a good thing. You don't have a proper handle on any of them. Think of the trouble you're making for those around you. Well, what do I care? It's not any trouble for us. Fine, then don't you care about your mother? The more you... the more mirages that you take away from oh, her... Oh, please. Mom loves seeing us excel. Don't even pretend it doesn't make her happy. Dad, I just think you're jealous because you don't know how to do it. Busted. <laughs> just stop. You don't realize. You're the one who said that everyone's lives would be easier if we summoned those gods or whatever. Don't chicken out now, Win. Yeah, remember? Why else would we even be up here? You're wrong. A path to another world will... Just shut the honk up. Huh. I know what to do with you. What? Huh. Are you the one who summoned me? <laughs> what is going on? <gasps> hey, who are you? Children, get over here! Uh, <laughs> answer me! Who are you? Ah! How astonishing for the first creatures I find to be humans of so high a caliber. So, who will join me? Two bodies! Take them! Ah! 
What was that? What did we just see? Uh, Lady Luz! Owen, you're here? You're both safe. I'm so glad. Oh, so glad. Are you really... our mom? Rain and Lon. They lost all of their old memories when they were spliced out of Grimoire. They don't remember a thing. Lucky them. But that's good. Please, Howen. Promise me that you will forgive them. For me? I never... <laughs> Subtlety. I can never abide it when a more direct solution is at hand. Come now. Did you not have some wish? Some grand desire you came here for me to grant? <laughs> Show me resolve. Show me ingenuity. Show me your power. Show me all the mirages at your behest. But do not show yourself to be lacking. What are... What kind of thing are you? I am Randalis, the mighty king of Bahama, and number two five of the X-9 Knights. I am the conqueror of all a worlds, and their destroyer. No. You... You... are nothing but dust! You are going to pay for what you did! You fiend. I'm gonna make you wish that you were never born! Well, sis, you okay? Okay, triumphant shout. Don't know how long that lasts, but I'll do it anyway. Yeah, there really is no indication. Funky. Well, let's beat the tar out of him. He is fast. Let's see how much damage this is. That's a lot. Okay, abilities. Uh, honestly? Did we? Okay, we don't know anything about him. I probably need to Libra him. Shit. Should've Libra'd first. Okay, he's actually really weak. Sort of. He does a ton of damage. But I can kill him pretty fast. Ish. Ow. All right, let's do, let's do wind, no, not wind rhapsody, forest nocturne. Please don't doof up on me now. That's good enough. I've also got like a ton of, oh, well that's, that's a little bit easier. I've also got like a ton of, um, I got a ton of items I can use, if need be, probably will. Right, she can also charge herself. We've also, why even charge? I've got like so many ethers, it's silly. I know he has other forms. He's a Final Fantasy last boss. Of course he's gonna have other forms. I always do. Should 
should probably heal. Yeah, he left it. Uh, on this round. That whole lifesteal setup. Pretty damn good. Yeah, he ain't got shit on me. That that one super move of his. That'd be a pro that'll be a problem. But right now, we're good. Err. Yeah, his spells kind of hurt. I like it's interesting how like weirdly thick he is. He's got really like thick hips, tiny waist, like he, he's not actually the right proportions, which is really strange actually. What strength. I can see A's power has already had a profound influence on both of you. Perhaps I may not be able to destroy you, but neither can you put an end to me. To pursue this stalemate further would be a waste of time. That's what you think! I have to pay for bringing you into this world. This ends now! Lon? Hey, Rain. I know that I've put you through a lot of stuff. I'm selfish. And I'm sorry. It's all my fault that Mom and Dad died like that. And it's all my fault that these freaks have ruined Grimoire. Mine. I have to pay for it all. Watch me! I'm ready. I'm ready to go home to my Ninewood Hills. <laughs> 